Hey guys, how's it going? Today we will be checking out the Unify Express. Without further ado, let's get started. So I ordered this on Ubiquiti's Black Friday sale. They had a great sale on this thing. I believe it was around $109, which is the lowest I've ever seen it at. And I've never really seen Ubiquiti do sales before, but I was able to snag this for just $109, I think. Um, it's normally $150. So I figured it was a great time for me to get the Unify Express because I've been looking for a travel router. So I'm going to hopefully be using this as my travel router from now on. More on that later, but without further ado, let's get started. So this looks just like Apple's um, Airport Express that they used to have. Um, it's relatively similar in size as well. Um, very similar product as well to the UXG. So there's the UXG, the Unify Express, they are all kind of similar. Uh, the main difference between the Unify Express and the UXG is that this is actually self-sufficient, meaning that it can actually run a network controller from Unify, runs a network controller, runs a Wi-Fi on it, and there's a lot more that it can do um, whereas the UXG Lite is more of a standalone device. That's just a gateway and firewall. But this has it all built into it. Um, and it's a little more costly. I think the UXG Lite is about $80, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, the Unify Express is $150. So a little bit of a difference there. This one also features the LCD screen on the front. I think it's 0.96 inches. Um, so that's pretty cool. There is a 1 gigabit WAN and 1 gigabit LAN port on the bottom, or sorry, back of it, as well as USB-C that powers it. So that's one of the reasons I got this to be my travel router is because it's super easy to power. Everything I have basically has USB-C, so it's not hard to find a USB-C power cable if I, for some reason, lose the one that this came with or whatever the case may be. Um, this thing also features a um, Wi-Fi 6 access point on it built in, and you get 50 plus connected Wi-Fi devices, so they say. The other thing with this is that this functions as a unified controller for four other Ubiquiti devices that you can dot to it. Um, I believe you can actually run these things in a mode where they kind of mesh to each other as well, and I think that might also be the cap of five total. I don't know that for sure, but these things do also mesh together. That was one of the selling points with these. You can kind of, they're almost like a drop-in replacement for the Airport Express. So let's get this thing fired up and check out what all we have to see with this device. In the box, we also have an Ethernet patch cable as well as the USB-C power supply. All right, guys, so now we're going to fire up the um, Unify Express and we'll get this thing set up on Unify's software. So I'm going to take a USB-C cable and we're gonna plug this into the Unify Express. You'll see the screen will start to light up here on the front as the device boots. And already, <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible, it's already initializing on the Unify mobile app. So I have the Unify network app open on my mobile phone here and we are going to um, click on it once it's ready. I'm really surprised that it showed up that fast, but Unify always surprises me. Um, that was a really quick boot time. I don't know, it looks like it's still booting, but let's click on Unify Express and see what happens. So it says, initializing the complete Unify experience, about four minutes left. So it's gonna go through, and I guess probably just boot and set up or something, I don't really know. So we'll see what happens as soon as the four minute timer is up. The reason I purchased this router, so that I can have a mobile router for when I travel. So this is not um, a device that can like, uplink to Wi-Fi networks, but I did order a device that can. This right here is the Unify Mobile Router Ultra. So it not only has a SIM card slot for mobile um, cellular data, but it also has a um, Ethernet slot for WAN and you can do a Wi-Fi uplink on the device. So um, this device is really sweet um, and it could be its own travel router um, set up entirely. But the reason that I got the Unify Express is because I love the Unify network ecosystem so much and I think that this is going to be a better router um, in terms of just management because it'll show up on the Unify dashboard. I don't want to have to pay a subscription for this device, so um, you don't have to pay the subscription for this technically, but you do get more features if you do pay the mobility subscription from Unify. So I'll go into more of this information in a future video. Um, the video today is just about the Unify Express, but if that's something you're interested in, um, check out my channel, make sure to subscribe, and you'll be notified as soon as that video comes out. All right, so on the mobile app now, there's an option to set up. So we're going to select set up. It's going to connect to the device and begin the enrollment process. So there's nothing really that you have to do to add it to your Unify um, account. It'll automatically be added as long as you're logged in on the mobile app. So you'll see here that there's a few different options that we have. So we have the set up new system option, or we have the option to add to an existing system. So um, technically what you could do is you could even use this as a wireless mesh device, I think. Don't quote me on that on your own network. Um, but I'm going to set this up as a new system so it's kind of in a standalone mode. 
um, and we're going to set this up to be the travel router. Okay, so we're going to leave analytics and improvements turned off and we'll click connect. So it's going to check for new firmware and do a firmware update. Now, at the same time on the unify.ui.com website, here in just a couple of seconds or minutes, probably we'll see it pop up on our Unify dashboard. So once Unify OS is set up, then it should automatically pop up into our dashboard assuming we're logged into the same account. And you'll see here that we do see the new option for the travel router. Um, and as it's going through the setup, it'll appear online, it'll pull all the configuration it needs for my account. It'll um, install all of that to the device automatically. And you will see that we have the travel router showing up. And there's actually a new notice here that says, please update your unified network application to 7.5.187 plus to secure your system from vulnerability related to CVE 2023-47. So anyways, what that basically means is that it's very out of date. So we are actually on um, 7.4.162. And I believe if we do some digging here, um, wow, this is really out of date. So this is actually running um this is running 7.4.162 we are on 8.5 so it's very far behind um but we will get that updated finally the last part of the setup is it's going to ask you to join the wi-fi network to the device i'll click join because why not so it'll actually connect you to the device so at this point we have the option to do a a remote handoff or b go to the dashboard of the device and that's what i'll select so once we load up the dashboard this is just the standard unify app that you likely love and know um, and it's going to ask you if you want to do a direct connection to it and we'll say proceed. So we'll directly connect to the device. Yeah, this device is really ideal for situations like apartments or smaller houses maybe. Even like um, small businesses really could even use one of these to replace the ISP provided router. Um, this is going to be a lot better than that. And what I can do actually is I will do this really quick. I'm going to pull up the device. I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi network from it. And I do want to run a quick speed test because this will tell us a lot about the device. So we should be getting pretty good Wi-Fi speeds because there's nothing meshing to this. So there's we should have all of the Wi-Fi bands available. And if we do a speed test, you'll see we are getting 200-ish, um, 250-ish megabits per second, which honestly is not terrible. Um, this thing should be, it's on a one gig connection and we actually just got 350 megabits per second down on the speed test here. So that's pretty good. That's with no fine tuning of the Wi-Fi. So I'm pretty impressed actually with how good that was. And we also got 327 up. So that's pretty rock solid for most homes and businesses. 300 by 300 is plenty. Um, it is enough to get into the Unify ecosystem. You can always upgrade down the line. This is a great router to start off with and uh, I'm impressed with it. It works really well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Stay tuned for the other video coming soon with the Unify Mobile Router Ultra. Um, this is actually my second one. I have another one right over there. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you all in the next video.